Welcome! This video is all about NewTime, FL Studio's built-in time stretching and audio warping plugin that makes time aligning audio a breeze. To demonstrate the plugin, I've come up with a little lo-fi beat. Here's what we're working with. I am sure you noticed this muted audio track. That's a drum loop, which I thought sounded cool on its own, but when I dragged it into my beat, it didn't really sound right. For science, I'll unmute it. Yeesh, that clearly needs some help. I'll mute this audio track again, and let's make a loop and zoom in on the first two bars so we can better see what's going on. I'll double click the offending audio clip to open its channel settings. Then right click its waveform display and select Edit in Time Warper. As you can see, FL Studio has loaded the audio into a new time plugin. By default, it will land on the master track. Let's close the channel settings again and enable Slave Playback to host in new time. Now, new time is running in sync with FL Studio. Cool. This hasn't improved anything. Let's get to that now. First, I'll press the sync button. This sample has tempo information and sync will auto stretch the file to the project BPM. That is definitely better, but it's nowhere near the groove that my main drums have. I'll have to go in and manually tweak the warp markers. The first marker in this loop is special. It's the downbeat marker. If you right click a marker, you can set it as the downbeat for the whole file. This is helpful for beat detection with files that don't start on the first beat of the bar. To move warp markers, you can click and drag them. This will time stretch the audio. Hold Alt to temporarily disable snapping for fine control and off grid movements. To add more warp markers, double click anywhere in the wave. For increased precision, we recommend holding shift before clicking. You'll get a helper line that allows you to be very accurate with marker placement. To select more than one marker, hold control and click and drag. Then you can move the selection. This also suspends snap with alt. Snapping is set in the snap menu. You can select from eighth beat to beat and depending on what you set here, the background grid will change. I've gone ahead and warped this loop to be in sync with my other off-grid drums. Now, let's add it back into the channel it came from. We'll open its channel settings again, then click and drag on the drag selection button on new time. I'll just drop this in here, and it's updated the wave on the audio track. Let's turn slave playback to host off so new time doesn't play, and have a listen. <laughs> Ah, much better. Let's get another one from the browser. Breaker, now that's a classic. I'll drag and drop this directly into new time. Next, I'll align the waveform with the playlist. Tempo syncing is still on and the loop has tempo information so it automatically loaded in at the right tempo. Time to load a groove pattern. Groove patterns allow you to automatically quantize, swing, or shuffle an existing beat. I'll select 75% shuffle, then play new time in loop mode and tweak the groove knob until I like the result. Nice. I'll send it to the playlist using the send to playlist button. I'm not a guitar player, but I've never let that stop me. Let's do something about that timing. You know the drill. Let's import it into new time from the channel settings. Then slave playback to host 
and mute the source track. Now, I'm going into the edit menu and selecting quantize time. Depending on the snap setting, this will move all warp markers to the nearest grid line. This wasn't enough to fix what I recorded, so I'll go in and manually align the rest. If you don't want to open the channel settings every time, you can also drag audio directly onto the source clip in the playlist using the same method we talked about earlier. Now we can turn slave playback to host off, auto name the clip, and pretend we're better at guitar than we are. I hope that this video helped you understand a little better what new time is, what it's for, and how to use it. Music